Quick question today. Uh, would you know which industry possibly contributes globally 50% of the climate change, 50% of landfill waste, and about 40% of energy usage globally? we have be not even talking about air, water, or noise pollution. While most of you would have made it, but for people who have missed out, I'm talking about, yes, the global infrastructure industry. What it means is that if you look at the figures, I'm going to talk about a few figures, not the entire one. Look at this one where we're talking about increase of 5% population globally in the next 10 years. However, if you look at the digital population, that grows by a whooping 40%. What that means is the newer generation is going to be more adaptation, have a better adaptation to technology. But however, if you look at the inefficiency in construction industry, it's about at $1.6 trillion today, and it doubles up in the next 10 years. Now, for people who are bad with numbers, $1.6 trillion is the GDP of Canada at present. And that is the inefficiency in construction, which you see. So therefore, what we're saying is, in an industry which is worth $10.6 trillion, bleeds by 10 to 30% due to mismanagement and inefficiency. Now, what we're trying to do in a, in a large construction industry like this, where a project management software penetration is only less than 2%, we present your trace cost. Now, trace cost is a platform which is a comprehensive 360 degree solution for large infrastructure companies. What it means is that you've got a web application and a handle device, mobile or a tablet application. We've got a lot of modules, right from contract management, scheduling, design management, project reporting, surveillance, safety, quality, a comprehensive 360 degree sub modules coming together on one platform. However, we do not, we will take uh, inspiration from also large global players and therefore we've integrated our solution uh, with large ERPs such as SAP, Oracle, Microsoft and the others. So what it means, if you're a large organization with such ERP systems, our solution works well for all your junior and mid management because A, we are, we are a simplified solution along with the fact that we are much more cost effective. And if you wish to integrate it with these large ERP, we can do it. Otherwise, we are a complete system in ourselves. I think no story is complete without a case study. And then therefore, this is one of our customers um, in South Asia by the name of GMC Projects. Uh, this is an organization about 3,000 plus people with a revenue of about turnover of about 0.7 billion annually. They have signed up earlier this year with Trace Cost using the solution for all their projects, which is about 80 odd projects in South Asian region. And therefore this project also integrates with the SAP and uh, throws in all the validated data for their dashboards. Uh, however- Three minutes. So just uh, try and wrap it up for us quick here. Absolutely. So. However, this is, this is what our case study is about. We're happy to chat up later as well and talk more in detail. And before I sign off, uh, I would like to put in a quote, which we say that project monitoring automation is no more a luxury. It is a necessity now. Thank you all. Thanks, Paul. Good start to the presentation. Um, so I was actually gonna ask you what stage is the product at? It looks like it, you already have a working product and at least one customer. Can you elaborate? Yes, so, so we do have, uh, we, we launched ourselves in May, 2019. We have four customers now, a larger customer like JMC, we're charging them about 130,000 uh, 130, uh, Canadian dollars as a fee. They've already signed up and our smaller customers at 30,000. Uh, we will be very verge of now also incorporating certain new modules. That means we will from October onwards come up with phase two, reaching out to more customers. And now we are in platform Calgary, uh, looking and also understanding how it works in, in the Canadian region. Okay, so uh, maybe just one last final question to think about what is, uh, what do you think are like the next step for you that you maybe you need help with or like what are your near term milestones that maybe people can help so, with? So, so what we need help with is in, in terms of uh, sharing the knowledge base from large infrastructure companies in Alberta, understand that how the infrastructure industry functions here, what is the adaptation of technology and what kind of tech solution does this industry need here? Uh, we'll be in our learning curve and then therefore everything's a win-win situation for us. Any information our way 
is something that we what we are keen on. Okay. All right, listen, Paul, thanks so much. Look forward to chatting more.